I'm out doing some door repairs today. Pretty bad. Right, what we've got here, guys, we've got a, uh, an era of eye count um, mortise lock key going in and it's just spinning. So we've got a broken curtain. Oh, someone was asking actually about what's in my lockout kit. So let me just quickly show you. Customer needs this lock changed. Um, they've got a key to this one, but keys have been lost for this. Now I've just put my little tool in. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna show you it. But I've got spring there, so that tells me. There we go. And we are open. All right, so we're gonna whip this out, put in a 30-30. Um, they're not fussed about in a scutcheon. So we're just going to swap this out for a 30-30, it's a thumb turn, so we put a 30-30 thumb turn on there. And then uh, that's this job done. Right, there we go, so we've got the anti-snap apex, lovely. Thumb turn, uh, so that's all working. Now the customer's not here, but I'm going to recommend to him that this is changed as well, because this isn't working. So you might see us back changing that. All right, we're doing some door repairs today. Pretty bad. Pretty bad, but the outside's good. So we just need to make sure that we can put all the keys back on and make, make it look nice. Sturdy. Okay, we're getting somewhere, guys. So I've stuck all the bits back. Obviously, I haven't got this bit. Got all the keeps back on, got some really good fixings um, in the back of the frame. So they're all nice and solid with some bigger screws. Bit of a hole there, bit of a hole there. And obviously I've got this bit now. But what I'm gonna use <coughs> is this bit of, it's an L shape, but it's got this funny little bit here. So I'm just gonna cut this, I'm gonna cut this bit off. Uh, so it just left me with like an L piece like a, an LP cover trim and then I'm going to stick that over here to there. And I'll take the, um, I've taken the uh, draft that's glued off of the inside, um, but it's still got that and that. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to put that on there, cut around these keeps and then hopefully that'll look somewhere being a lot better and then just fill in, fill in there. It won't go all the way to the wall, um, but I've got another, I've got another D-shaped bit that I'm gonna put on top of this um, L bit, just to put down there, and that should make it look quite nice. All right, so that's that bit cut off of this trim. So now we've just got a nice L profile. Um, there's an off cut somewhere. Where's that off cut, bud? Because, yeah, now. So this is now what we're gonna do. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put that. I might have fixed that onto there. I'll check the door and it still closes and the keeps will go straight on top of it. It's gonna make it look a lot neater. So that keep there, so that'll actually, I'll undo, undo that keep and then that'll screw sort of over the top of that. But yeah, and then a little D, D section or a bit of silicon down the back there and then good as new. Okay, so this is our L shape that's gonna go somewhere glued on like so, so it looks like that up there, it goes all the way down, so we're gonna might have fixed this on so it's solid on there. Um, and But behind here, where the big gap was, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna might have fixed these on. We'll pack that out, and then, with a white packer, sort of there, that brings it flush with this edge here. So it just gives the bit of UPVC that we're putting on a bit of, bit of something behind it. Right, let's glue that on and get the corner right, on. Right, guys, we're done. What do you think about that? Repair. A bit better than it was, eh? <clears throat> Oops, 
Also pants. Everything's engaged. We're done. Right, what I'm doing to actually connect, if you saw my previous video where I bought all the Stanley Pro Stack stuff, to connect them together, um, there's this natural groove in the top of the boxes here on both sides, one over there, one over there. So I've just dremeled this out using a Magi Burr, and now that will slide through that. I can put some fixings in here. There's enough space above the drawer to put some fixings in there and fixings in the other side, which I've done, which is over there. I'll just turn these boxes around. So yeah, they'll screw, they'll slide through like that onto each other and then screw together. That, uh, with maybe a couple of brackets across like that, should be enough. But if not, I'll put some brackets up here and, and screw, screw some little brackets up there as well. There we go. So that now is absolutely solid. What I've done, like I say, I've taken a little groove out of there, out of both sides, slid that through, screwed it in there, there and there. Got a little double bracket along there, screwed in. And I flapped up, so these bits are where you would connect other boxes. Flap this side up and put two screws in there. And that is not going anywhere, I'm telling you. And also, I can obviously open everything up and it doesn't move one little bit. So yeah, that's that fixed. I'm well happy with that. That even slides down there perfectly. My little lockout bag, little lockout kit. Oh, someone was asking actually about what's in my lockout kit. So let me just quickly show you. Uh, so bump keys, bump hammer, my domestic lishies there. More bump keys, uh, FB2 keys, you know, just general skeleton keys. Uh, some more general skeleton keys in there. Um, what are these? Are oh, these my jigglers? All loads of different types of jigglers in there. Uh, uh, oh, just a shitty, cheap Chinese piece of shite. Uh, Gav Snib Mouse in there. Um, there's these are my. Um, key extractions, uh, hand picks, law lock hand picks, Dino, plug spinner, uh, tension tools, uh, key turners. That's the little tool if you're going to open up a sash lock and it keeps everything in place. Uh, obviously, mica, little protector with a Euro cut out if I'm gonna snap a cylinder. Uh, I'll put that over to, to, so it doesn't damage anything. Uh, what else? Thumb turns, some um, a little bolster, uh, free lever try out keys. Yeah, basically all that sort of stuff. Oh, sparrows, um, disc detainer, uh, pick, latch tools, a torch more latch tools, some tubular picks, some more bump keys there. So yeah, that's what's in my lockout kit. And nine times out of 10, this is all I need to carry to a door when I'm doing a, when I'm doing a lockout that, and, and I'll take my, uh, I'll take a can of GT85. I'm actually gonna try, at some point, attach um, a can of GT85 to the side of this. I'm actually gonna try and attach a little can like, I don't know, with some sort of pipe brackets or something, attach a can of GT85, and then I've got everything literally just, you know, like I say, nine times out of ten from a lockup, uh, a lockout, I just literally pick that up and that's it. And if I need anything else, I've got all my cameras and decoders and that down there. I'll tell you what, guys, I mean, I know there was a, some doubters <clears throat> about this system. This has been, I've been working out of this now for a couple of days and it is so good. I fixed the back. They weren't, they weren't falling out, but I could hear them sort of rat, rolling because there's like five inch gap behind there. So when I was breaking, I could feel them just moving back and then jolting. So I've now fixed these top boxes. I don't need to take them off. I only need to open them. Fix those top boxes. Basically, I've got some screws through there into a bit of five or two timber there which i hope you can see that which is fixed through there so it's absolutely i'm not even joking it's absolutely perfect so easy to work out of 
uh, with the drawer systems. Um, as I showed you earlier, I've now fixed all of this as well. Put the brackets through there, through there, bracket there, and screwed through there. And again, this is absolutely solid. It's not that I'm literally shaking that and it's not moving one little bit. So, like I say, I know there are some doubters, but it's working absolutely perfect. And the best thing about it is that I can take all this out. If I do upgrade my van at any point, I can take all of this out and refit it in the new van. So somebody said about, uh, you know, calling a company and getting them, you know, to fit out the van exactly how I want it. But I know they, that, that costs absolutely thousands. This was 690 quid for all this and I can reuse it. So I'm well happy. That's all I'm gonna say on the matter. That's it now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you anymore. If, you've, if you're watching this and you, ha and you don't know what I'm talking about and you haven't seen the, my previous video, which is the one before this, it's all about this T-Stack, uh, Stanley Fat Max Pro Stack, sorry, system, um, which I've used in the van, which is absolutely blinding. I love it. Right, so there's screws missing from every single hinge. How this passed um, a fire inspection, I don't know, but from both, not, not just the hinge side as well, from both sides. Um, so I'll, I've only got gold screws though, I'm afraid, so, but I'll, I'll fill them in uh, with screws. That might help with the door closing because it's not, they're not pulling, that's shutting fine. But then this one, the door's catching a little bit, but the intermittent seal is sticking out a little bit there. So I'll try and hammer this in, see if I can get this over a little bit, get it closing a little bit better. But the actual lock itself is working when the door's open. So um, yeah, it's just a bit of a, probably a bit of an alignment issue. Right, that's this set complete. So all the screws and all the hinges are in on that door. This door here, I had to chop that hinge in deeper and the top hinge in deeper to get that to get over. Um, but all the screws, as you can see, are in all the hinges. So we now close that and lock that. And now this is closing and locking. That's it, this one done. So these doors close, they are, they're, they're a bit tight, but they're closing. Um, the problem with this one seems to be getting the key actually in the lock. Um, not sure what's going on there, so yeah. I'll whip the lock out and find out what's going on. So I've just taken the lock out, and it's actually, the lock case is actually coming apart. Um, so sort of there as well. Uh, I'll see if I can fix it, see if I can put the case back in. Um, if not, I'll have to replace it. But yeah, I'll see if I can get it to, to slot back in. Right, this was the problem. Because the case was loose, uh, the lever had actually jumped out of position. So, um, and that's why the key wasn't going in. So that just needs to be reset in there. That spring now, and if we can get the case back on, and that should all be good. Right, there we go, that's all back together now. So you can see that's all closed up, that case. So uh, yeah, we'll get it back in and we'll give it a test. Just before I do that, also there's loads of screws missing again from these from these doors. So I'll fire a load of screws in there. I'll check this door as well. Make sure that one's um, got all the screws in. Right, there we go. So screws all in there. And screws over there, all in there. Right, so. It's a little bit scrapey up there, but. Let's try this now. Oh, can't yeah, I haven't put the lock in. Right, I've just screwed that back in, tried to lock it, and it still won't lock, but the problem is, is the lock's going in at an angle, so it's going in, sort of over accentuating it, it's going in like that, uh, which means the, uh, the key won't go through into the lock case properly. So yeah, I need to straighten up. I need to straighten up the lock. Let's get this working. Right, so yeah, I've, I've sh shaved down the inside of that uh, to, so that the lock can go over, but it's obviously, it's been chopped in. It's just really bad, poorly done. 
I'm gonna put a tiny little screw up there and a tiny little screw there to try and pack this face plate out so that brings it out and keeps it a bit squarer. And then, uh, and then we'll give it a test. Right, there we go. That's unlocked. The door's still a bit stiff. These really want reseating in, but um, I mean, it's, it's closing. Um, closing and that's locked. There, and then unlocked. Uh, so yeah, this is the problem with this lock. It worked that time, but it's getting stuck every so often. It worked every time now, it was getting stuck a minute ago. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give all this a bit of an overhaul to make sure that's all nice and smooth inside. And the, the key here is loose. You can see that, so I'll tighten this up as well and hopefully that'll, that'll sort it. Right, overhauled that, given this tighten, so that's all solid. And I've adjusted the door close as well because it was a bit rapid, so, but that's it. It's all closing now, working perfect. There you go. Right guys, got a uh, horizontal sash lock and the spring's broke. That's the spring, the old spring that was in there, snapped in half. Um, obviously I don't have anything, I don't have anything like this. Um, but what I've just made is, well I've just stretched out another spring. that's gonna go in there, like that, round there, clip into that, clip round like that, and that should, do the trick. So let's put this back together and we'll give it a test. There we go, guys. Springing lovely. So managed to save another beautiful little horizontal sash lock from uh, going to the bin. Lovely. Right, what we've got here, guys? We've got a, uh, an era of eye count uh, mortise lock. Key going in and it's just spinning. So we've got a broken curtain. So what I'll do with this is lift that to 12 o'clock and then get something to drag that drag that bolt across. Yeah, that's not working, but we've just noticed that the actual bolt is sitting at a little bit of an angle like that. Um, so I think this is a bit more than just uh, a broke curtain. As if by magic, we got it. So, yeah, I'm gonna take this apart actually and have a look and see what's going on, see what's done that. I'm really sorry. I thought I'd recorded the final bit of that uh, that job that you just saw with the um, the era Viscount, um, but it's not on my phone, so obviously I couldn't have pressed record. Um, but I took the I took the lock out and the case was completely loose. One of the one of the screws was almost falling out. Um, so yeah, it, everything had just sort of dislodged in, in in the lock which is why it was an opening um so yeah all we did was put it back together um uh refit the lock and it worked lovely so um one thing i've started doing actually because i've seen this quite a bit but one thing i've started doing is always just testing the screws on on any new lock that i fit um just testing the screws on the lock case just with a hand screwdriver just make sure they're tight um just to prevent that from happening but um yeah we got it fixed and refitted and it's all working lovely Right, that's it for this video, guys. Um, thank you, as always, for watching. Um, if you don't subscribe, please please consider subscribing. It doesn't it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, but it really helps me. Really helps the channel. Um, and yeah, thank you very very much for watching, and see you all next time. I love you all.